Hi there, this is Michael Nitu, and today we're going to be talking about the Cube House, which is actually the first, uh, basically, drawing which combines architectural drawing and graphics with design. So you basically got six hours to come up with an idea which looks good, well, has some sort of architectural relevance to it, and to present it visually in a good, good, clear, confident way. So let's get started. What are we looking at over here? So we've got a vertical page layout and a main perspective of our little cube house. The main perspectives are always going to face the entrance of your designs. You're not going to see a lot of uh, large perspectives showing, you know, the uh, back door of your of your design. Right, so we've got this entrance way here. Our house sits on this flat uh, tiled surface with uh, shrubs here and here and the tree here. And we also got the four facades of our design and the top plane view with a large cast shadow. So the first thing that comes to mind is, uh, you know, this looks good. You know, it looks nice, it's got nice contrast, it's got a uh, nice page layout. You could say it's got a clever way of uh, putting all these four, fa five facades over here. Yeah, and uh, is that an accident or, you know, how, how can I get that into my work? Well, basically, it's not an accident. It's taking into account the thirds rule. So the third rule states that um, every time you use a, a third proportion, split up your your page into thirds, yeah, top thirds and horizontal thirds. When you use that, you're automatically going to create something that's attractive. If you go for symmetry, for instance, so if that edge over here would have been symmetrical here, you've had a bit of, would have you would have had a bit of trouble because. Um, you wouldn't um, be able to fit your drawing on this design first and then you know it, it would look really dodgy because you've got this optical illusion of symmetry right so going back to thirds you can notice that even the horizon line is set out uh, set out on uh, you know as a third obviously when, when uh, my student drew this he took into account that you know you've got the uh, facades over here You can notice that even the horizontal surface is. Um, you can even notice that the uh, um, perspective. You could even notice that the horizon line for the main perspective uh, takes into account this third rule. Obviously, when my student drew this, he had, uh, you know, he took into account the fact that you can't really use this uh, page space here because you've got facades. So you've got uh, just this bottom bit here, and you split this in thirds, and use that bottom third, and this again gives gives you a very balanced sense to your perspective. Also, keep in mind that you need to use contrast. You've got a little box here, right? So this box needs to be contrasted with something. Entourage uh, really works here. Yeah, these shrubs, like these uh, yeah, fluffy shrubs, work really well into contrasting the sharp edges of this design. And also, this curved line followed by our little tree over here work really well into giving that extra bit of contrast and also keep in mind that um, windows are very important for your design because uh, if you remember we've got the free materials rule for, for all the designs you've got a simple white material then you've got a textured material whatever texture you would like in this case it's uh, basically a wood texture and then you've got glass to keep the two together so you've got this ribbon, this uh, ribbon of uh, glass that just goes like this and just goes around your building. And if you can see it here, it comes up, goes around, bam, follows this, and then ends here. Obviously that's where you use the, um, the facades to uh, facilitate your design, because it needs to make sense. Keep in mind, you know, y you need to have all four facades linked together, so they don't need to look uh, like they're from different stories all together. They've got the same material going, they, they have the same sort of visual language to them. And you also have this small window here. Keep in mind, again, using this uh, using windows to um, highlight a corner is a recipe that always works. 
So when you've got a perspective like this, slapping on a window here or here is always going to look good. Keep in mind these are rules, you know. The ideal is to break the rules, but uh, you need to, to first understand them and then get to the stage where you can actually go past them. Looking at the page layout of your design, you've got the main object over here, which is the perspective. Perspectives are always going to be a bit more interesting because they are 3D, right? And then you also have got this uh, nice grid over here with uh, five yellow squares, which just show the facades, right? They're equally distance, distance, so that actually gives a bit of order to your to your presentation. But keep in mind, you don't need to have too much order, or else it would be very boring. So then you need to throw in some organic shapes, like these shrubs over here. Let's move on. So we've got a couple of designs now, and how they would work as um, as architectural drawings. So basically, we're starting with this uh, design here. Got a lot of texture, which is nice. You've got nice contrast between texture and uh, glass, but you are missing the third material, and you need to use it. You know, because uh, you know it's, it's fairly easy to to get lost in uh, in detail and uh, forget that your 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 drawings need to be valid from an architectural standpoint. I would go for, for actually. I would go for actually um, highlighting this area here, and also. I will show a bit more transparency for this uh, for these windows here, just to get a sense of uh, spatial depth. Also, you need to, to add a bit more a bit more of a texture here because it's it's just a, a shiny, you know, glossy surface. What does it mean? Doesn't make any sense. It's, it's too uh, too glossy. And let's not forget these shrubs are a bit, um, you know, and the trees are this tree here is. A, it's just not there yet, it needs a bit more shadowing or something to, to look a bit more realistic. Moving on, this design, uh, yeah, this needs a bit more work on the facades. And also the, uh, these windows here are a complete mess. They don't look as uh, orderly as the other designs. You always need to, to, to have a lot of order in your work. You, know, you can't have this edge here and then this edge with a bit more to the left and the you just can't have a window that just sits on the exactly on the floor slab. You could uh, look out, look from uh, the outside and see people walking in. You can see, you can see their legs. Again, this doesn't make sense. 